This is the Luba Mini Odd 800H Robot Lawn Mower. And honestly, it's probably the most curious looking piece of lawn equipment I've ever had out on my yard. It's got this compact, sturdy design. Kind of like a futuristic toy if I'm being real. The white plastic body signals it means business. And at about 33 pounds, it's not nearly as bulky as the big gas mowers I grew up with. If you're used to dragging a heavy mower across wet grass, trust me, this is about to feel like a totally different experience. When I first unboxed the Luba Mini, I'll admit I had some doubts. Robot lawn mowers sound great on paper, but my yard is full of weird slopes, tree roots, and the occasional patch of thick, muddy grass. I figured there was no way a little robot with wheels could keep up, but after a few months using it, I'm surprised at how much I've come to rely on it. For anyone new to this, don't expect a Roomba for your grass that you just throw down and walk away. There's a learning curve, but it's way less hassle than you'd expect. Let's talk looks and feel. The Luba Mini is smaller than a regular push mower, so it doesn't take up half your garage. Its finish feels tough enough not to get dinged up or brittle sitting outside. The top panel is simple. Bright lights and basic controls make it pretty user-friendly, even if tech isn't your thing. The handle makes it easy to carry if you ever need to move it, and the Omni wheels, which allow it to turn on the spot, are honestly impressive. You can just tell this thing is built for tricky lawns. The cutting width is around 8 inches, which doesn't sound like much at first, but with the robot's path planning and efficiency, that number starts to make sense. From my experience, setup was both exciting and a bit of a puzzle, especially the first time. Out of the box, you get the mower, charging station, RTK antenna for navigation, and everything you need to get rolling. The RTK system, that's real-time kinematic, basically a high-accuracy GPS, is a big part of why this mower stands out. It tells the Luba Mini exactly where it is on your lawn without needing invisible wires all along your flower beds. I just placed the antenna in a spot where it could see the sky, plugged in the charging station, and set up zones. For my yard, mapping out zones on the Momotion app took about half an hour. Not bad considering all the nooks I needed to include. Using the Momotion app is way easier than I expected. It walks you through adding your mowing areas, and you can set things like the mowing schedule, cutting height, and even which patterns you want. I really appreciate the app's real-time updates. There were even moments when I checked in while out grocery shopping and got to see the mower's little icon moving around on the map. The remote control function is helpful, especially if you needed to tackle a tough spot manually that it missed. Key features that stood out for me are the mower's navigation and how it handles tough terrain. My yard isn't perfectly flat. It's got dips, some rough patches, and a couple of pretty steep slopes. The Luba Mini is all-wheel drive, so all four wheels can power over tricky spots, up to an 80% incline, which is wild when you think of how many riders would get stuck trying to do the same. The AI vision is another thing I didn't think I'd care about, but actually, it means the mower doesn't just rely on GPS, it can visually see where your grass stops and the sidewalk or flower beds begin. It's precise enough to trim right along the edges, even with trees blocking the sky above. I saw it mow completely under my big maple, which usually stumps anything else. The zero turn feature, meaning it can spin entirely in place, lets it squeeze out of tight corners or complicated spots without missing a blade of grass. One of my favorite things is how quiet it is. Mowing used to mean loud engines, fumes, and waving at my neighbors over the roar. Now it's under 60 decibels, so when I'm having a barbecue or even relaxing in the evening, I don't even notice it zipping by. I've had friends over who didn't realize the mower was running until they saw it cruising by the patio. Mowing at night is actually an option, which is a cool feeling. Just set it in the app and go to bed. The rain sensor feature is more helpful than I expected. When it picked up on an unexpected drizzle, it just parked itself back at the station instead of slogging through mud. I love that Luba Mini is packed with safety features. The obstacle detection works surprisingly well. If it spots something it doesn't recognize, like my dog's toys, branches, or the ball the kids left out, it just steers clear and keeps mowing. There's even a physical bumper that'll stop the mower instantly if something gets in front. Security is well thought out too. If anyone tries to pick it up or move it, it locks itself and sends an alert straight to my phone. There's GPS tracking in a lost mode too, so you can figure out exactly where it ended up if anything goes wrong. One thing I found genuinely cool was the lawn printing pattern option. Basically, that means you can have the Luba mow your logo, your initials, or patterns like a checkerboard right into the grass. At first, I thought it was a gimmick, but after playing with it, 
It's kind of satisfying seeing something you designed mowed into the backyard. It's those little techie touches that are fun to show off. I'd recommend this for anyone who's tired of manual mowing, especially if you have a tricky lawn with slopes or weird shapes. It's perfect for busy households or anyone who wants their lawn to look good without all the effort. If you travel a lot, you'll enjoy the peace of mind. Checking in on your yard is as simple as opening an app, and the Luba handles itself well, even recharging and resuming without a hitch. Of course, nothing is perfect. The biggest downside for me was the initial setup. While the Mamotion app makes most things easy, mapping out every side of my property took more time than I expected, especially since I wanted precise lines along flower beds and driveways. If you have a bigger or more complicated yard, plan to spend some time tinkering with the app to get it just right. The battery life is another thing to consider. At 90 minutes of mowing per charge, you do need to account for some recharge breaks if you have a bigger patch to cover. I also noticed that on especially tall or thick grass, the mower sometimes leaves a few uneven spots on the first run, though it tends to catch and fix these on the next pass. If you're expecting the same level of cut as a top-tier push mower, you might see some minor imperfections, especially after rain or in super dense patches. There were a few times where wet, sticky mud slowed things down. While the Luba never got totally bogged down, you'll still want to clean the wheels now and then after a real messy day. The app could use a bit more explanation for beginners. Some terms like RTK or edge mowing weren't familiar to me, but once I played around with it for a while, everything started to make sense. In conclusion, Luba Mini Odd 800H isn't just a fancy gadget, it's a solid, hard-working helper for your lawn. It shines for anyone who wants to cross, mow the grass off their chore list, especially if you're busy or you have a challenging yard. The quiet operation, smart navigation, and easy app let you enjoy your weekends and still have a trim, healthy lawn. It's not for everyone. If you're a lawn perfectionist or have a massive property, there could be some limits. But for most everyday lawns, it's a real upgrade from pushing around a gas mower every Saturday. If you found this quick review helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below about what you think or if you've had your own experiences with robotic mowers. Thank you for watching.